Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with Ask Me. So if you guys have never seen this, this is where I answer all kinds of awesome questions straight from you guys, so let's do it! Yo, should I buy PC parts at separate times or all at the same time? I would say buy all of your parts at once. I know it's really tempting as you're saving your money to go buy a part here and buy a part there. However, generally, PC parts are always either getting better or cheaper. So if you buy a part today, but you're not going to be doing your build for another six months, if you would have waited, you probably would have got something that's faster or better, or you might have been able to get that exact same part for cheaper. So if you can, you just save your money up and buy everything at once. It'll make things a lot easier for you. I'm planning to build a new gaming PC. Should I go with Windows 8 or should I stick with Windows 7? This has been a debate for almost a year now, but in my opinion, if you're building a new computer, I would go with Windows 8. So technically it is quite a bit better than Windows 7. So it boots a lot faster, it seems to be a lot more snappy, and it actually is better if you have, for example, like an AMD 8 core processor. It actually will take better advantage of multiple cores in Windows 8 as opposed to 7 for gaming. Now yeah, there are problems with Windows 8, especially the Metro or modern UI, but Windows 8.1 will be coming soon and it will fix a lot of that stuff. So if you're building a new computer today, you could go with Windows 7, but in my opinion, go with Windows 8 and before you know, a month or two, we'll actually have Windows 8.1 and you're going to be golden. What are you most looking forward to being revealed this year? I would probably have to say the Galaxy Note 3. Now, I actually was a big fan of the Note 2, and I used it for quite a while, um, and I really can't wait. In fact, I was actually picked up my Note 2 the other day, and it was really nice to kind of go back. So, even if the Note 3 is literally just a giant Galaxy S4, I'm going to be all over that. I can't wait to have the big screen again and have that awesome battery. Has YouTube helped your way with the girls? All the time. All the guy do is come up and say, Hello, ladies. I've got a lot of subscribers on YouTube. And it immediately, um, well... I, I, I'm still, it's still a work in progress. I mean, I haven't got the technique totally, no, it doesn't help. Will you be playing GTA 5 on the PC or console? I'll be playing it on my Xbox 360. Uh, I'm sure that there will be a PC version of GTA 5. However, they haven't announced it yet, and it pretty much almost definitely won't be coming out on release. So I'm not going to wait six months to play GTA 5. I would like to play it on the PC, and maybe when it does come out, I'll pick it up. But the second that comes out for Xbox, I'm going to be all over it. What are your impressions regarding the Moto X? To be totally honest, kinda underwhelmed. Before the Moto X was actually announced properly, there was so much hype, it's gonna be this crazy awesome phone. And now that we've seen it, it looks decent, it looks okay, but really nothing all that spectacular. I mean, definitely Google and Motorola, they've done some cool stuff with it, but for me, not really interested. What's your favorite music artist? Uh, I would probably say Dead Mouse. Uh, he's made so much awesome music that I just absolutely love. Uh, but right up there alongside him, there's going to be Daft Punk, we've got Glitch Mob, Wolfgang Gardner, all absolutely top notch. What social networking site do you find yourself using the most? Definitely Twitter. One of the big things for me is that it's very quick and simple to use. So whereas if I'm talking to maybe one of you guys on Facebook or something, I love to do that, but a lot of times I'll get these giant messages and they'll take me forever to go through and read it all and reply and all that kind of stuff. Whereas on Twitter, you send me 140 characters, I can reply to you super fast, and it's a lot easier for me to keep up with not only like you know when I'm talking to you guys, but also keeping up with news, my friends, all that kind of stuff. So Twitter definitely for the win. I'm literally like always on there. What is your favorite company for PC parts? That is a really tough question. I mean... I would say like companies like Intel are great. I mean, they make amazing CPUs um, for graphics cards. AMD and NVIDIA are great um, for a lot of cases and coolers and whatnot. Uh, Corsair makes good stuff. Uh, Asus and Gigabyte both make great graphics cards as well as like motherboards and stuff. Um, I, I really don't think I could pick one. How much pressure is there when trying to keep up with news and to continue putting all the work you do into your videos? Wow, you're really going to make me think on this one. Um, I mean, yeah, there's definitely pressure. I mean, a lot of times I'm working with companies, so I have very strict deadlines I have to meet with particular videos or you know, maybe when I'm reviewing a product that isn't out yet, that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, a lot of times my videos can just take too long. Uh, like my review videos especially, those things can take days. And when I try to get a video out every couple days and it takes like three or four days to make a single review, that can get definitely, you know, very stressful. But for the most part, it's something that I enjoy doing. I mean, sure, yeah, I have a bad day every once in a while and you know, I'm stuck in front of the computer editing a video for eight hours and I just don't want to be doing that. But for the most part, all the good definitely outweighs the bad. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any other questions you'd like to ask me, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also always hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, and those links will be in the description of this video. Anyway, guys, I will catch you next time.